All right, so this is our this is our first look at Eternal Blade Two or Eternal Blade Two. Again, either or. Um, a game provided to me by the developer Corsell Technology. Thank you to to all of them for reaching out and being like, hey, you want to give this game a try? And I was like, hey, sure, why not? So we're just going to be starting right from the beginning. Uh, never played this before. Came out earlier this year. I think it was like January of this year. So let's let's get to it. Right into the loading screen. It's kind of what happens. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. More loading screens. Darn it. All right. So I, as we're as we're watching the loading screen, I am playing this on a PlayStation Four. Uh, that was the copy provided to me, um, which might explain Humans. the uh, the loading times. Mortals. Time dimension. Nobody, Nobody knows how they were created, but I only know that we, the immortals. Or as you call us, the Ooh. we are watching over the flow of time from the beginning till the end. That's how See, that'd be fun. Whereas humans have never accepted their own fate, I'm unable to get inside their design, the one which drives them to struggle. They don't even know what effect it would bring to the dimensions. Oh, here we go. Right into combat. I'll take it. Time to mash the buttons. Ooh, pretty butterfly. I oh, know, they'll, they'll creepy. Oh, no, bad butterflies. Okay. Wait, so we've got we've got blue ones. Or we've got regular ones and then we've got empowered ones. Okay, ground combat. Let's see. Square button to attack. Triangle is crouch attack and R2 is launch attack. X is jump. X is continue. I like that the game uh, What happened? Okay. The eternal Can I move? I cannot move with the D-pad. Okay. But still unable to manifest its power. Oh, what? How dare you? Oh, cool. Ow. R2 is an air is a is an air launcher. Huh. Hitboxes are a little interesting. Okay, what can I Oh, that's fun. Okay, we got air combos. We got air combos. Huh? Where am I? <laughs> Good timing. Good time to wake up, buddy. <laughs> time blink ability. Dodge in incoming attacks to protect with pressing R1. It will consume a stack of blink. Blink stacks will regenerate over time. So is that the little cog, or is it the blue? If done just before an enemy attacks you, perfect dodge will be triggered, and a blink stack will be restored. Oh. Okay, so if we time this right, we actually don't consume this blinking stuff. Um, uh, yeah, Potato Man, I, see, I need some JoJo uh, sound effects on my stream. Movement kind of looks kind of like a 2D near Automata. Yeah, I can, I can see that. And then you can counterattack by pressing square, triangle, or R2. All right. Uh... Oh, wow. That was a cool combo. Wow. That was a fun... That was a fun aerial combo. Freya, that was amazing. Your swordsmanship is still as top-notch as ever. Eh? Whoa, that... Face was amazing. We have to find her. <laughs> Let's go. I know, right? So now we're tracing with the sword. Wait yeah. For me. <laughs> there are definitely, there's definitely some 2B movement in here, which I'm totally okay with. I love near Automata, and I, I love 2B. 
that the combat in that game was amazing, and I love playing as her in Soul Calibur 6. Like, oh man, they got me so hard when they're like, hey, we're gonna introduce, we're gonna introduce 2B into Soul Calibur. And I was like, mm-hmm. Welp. Uh. All right, well, we're back. That was a, a brief interruption. I had no idea. It was just somebody delivering a package. And yeah, dogs, the dogs were defending our house. <laughs> All right, so aerial combat. Oh, I can jump twice. Ooh. Wait, hang on. Oh, look at that. Okay, so instead of... All right, that's cool. Oh, okay, so it can't... Can't, uh... Can't double jump. Ah, I missed it. Okay. No! Come here, little potato man. Really struggling to... Okay. So there's no hit stun on these enemies. I'm trying to... I'm trying to figure out how to how to properly like combine everything like I'm trying to I'm trying to combo into launchers so I can then like hit them a few times on the ground launch them into the air jump up catch them so seriously consider doggos a mailman being enemies right <laughs> it's true the the yes doggos and mailmen <laughs> all right we can use an item by pressing left down or right okay so d-pad is for items all right That consumed the entirety of that item. Hey, can I pick you up? Oh, you have to... Okay, so you have to hit... You don't just pick up items, you have to hit them. Okay. Oh, that's not number nine. That was a, that was the letter S. Okay. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Alright, so, so I've seen this in... Third-person perspective. Yeah, so now the game's going into 3D. Okay, so we press... We press L to lock on. Okay, that's a little... You know, that's a little different than... Oh, we can only hold... We can only hold small potions... Or we can only hold a potion in each slot. Okay. All right. All right. Now, if only I had some long-ranged... Uh, items here essentially just watching how this works okay so so far we've got these two attacks here's here's the orb attack <laughs> let's call this the orb attack then here's this follows us gives us a little bit of an indication cool oh okay that hurt not a lot thankfully Okay, we've got poison, poison clouds. Okay, all right. Oh, we can still double jump in here, that's cool. Oh, wow, we, okay, that's a perfect timing. Oops. That was not perfect timing. Seems like we can we can cancel out of we can cancel out of our attacks with R1. So the the blinking allows us to, we can just cancel out. Oh cool, healing potions are instant. That's fun. Really helps with the action portion of this. Allows action to continue flowing. That's cool. was unexpected dang it so the the indicator when 
Oh, those orbs, they do track us. The indicator of when an attack is coming is a little bit tricky to notice. It's like a, there's like a very short moment where the game's like, hello, a little bit of a blink of purple. Oh, we've got attacks. Uh, whoa, we're getting all three attacks at once now. Hmm. All right, I maybe be able. To... Oh, we can just use health potions whenever we want. That's cool. Well, that's fun. The little, the little time, the little blink indicator as it's recharging is like a little cog that just goes around and around and around and around. Ooh, okay. Must have done that one a bit too early. Okay. We're learning. This is a pretty good fight. Controls are feeling really nice. Farewell. Yeah, farewell indeed, demon. Farewell and adieu, old Spanish ladies. You get your favorite game of all time, but your favorite character in second game will be replaced by Zote. <laughs> you want me to replace Zote with Zote? <laughs> Alright, so that's our first, I think that's our first major boss fight. So that's, that's cool. I'm, I, so far I'm impressed because the controls feel nice. Like, so far I'm not really struggling with the controls. Bernard, watch out. I I had heard. So we are all that is left, Felix. These fiends are unending. We must not let their sacrifice be in vain. Let's I had heard that there were some uh some interesting some interesting uh bits about one particular character's voice acting here. Oh, this is why this doesn't matter. We're fighting the undead. What the hell are these butterflies? It must relate to that hole in the sky. We have to find the call and end it. Roger that, Captain. That is our mission. Stop mocking me. I do appreciate that we're using a whip. That's fun. I do hope we get to play as Freya again. She was pretty cool. But it's interesting that we have... Everybody has the same, like, abilities. The fact that we got this time... That we can do the time blinking here. The Norn's Idol. You can save your progress at any Norn's Idol. Um... <laughs> it was a great range. Yes, it really does. Th that whip has exceptional range. It's quite it's quite powerful. We are clearly playing as Ivy now. <laughs> Cue the Devo track. Well, that's a pretty cool background. I'm sorry I ran kind of through it a little bit too fast. The Annan Fortress is a sacred place we Kronosians have been protecting for centuries. Why is this hole appeared here? This fortress connects with our half-blood legend. Whatever's inside, I will not let it be ravaged on my watch. Neither will I. Yeah. Uh, Freya, can we can we go back to Freya? She was fabulous. Also, I appreciate that these barricades have these lovely little spaces in between we them. <laughs> we have been out adventuring since we were children. I hope today is not our last. I am sure it's not today. I wouldn't have minded seeing, like, a... a a puzzle, like a, a, even just a bit of a jumping puzzle for that, to just have to get over the barricades and such. Alright, let's just, let's just, man, look at the range on that whip. Man. As expected, among the half-blood of the weird gear, you were the strongest one ever. Power without purpose means nothing. Okay, timing is a little, okay, gotta wait on, uh, you can't really jump cancel. I will use the half-blood power of the Skaldir family to protect Princess Rosalyn only. That's my brother. Oh. 
I'm enjoying the backgrounds. Uh, I'm enjoying the backgrounds here. I'm, I'm enjoying the combat. Again, the controls are nice, and I'm learning the timing. Like, I want to just mash the buttons, but apparently... Whoops. Okay, when you're in the air, mashing buttons is very helpful. But when, uh, when you want to actually, like, do some combos here of, like, hit, hit... Then it's, you gotta wait a little bit, you gotta wait a moment before you jump. It's not a jump cancel into your, after your launcher. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, I think the pers, yeah, the perspective is a little different. So you, you had to, I have to hold up just a little bit. The can so the controls move with the camera. Okay. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I think, I think. Freya was the protagonist of the first game. Um, good lord. Triangle is dumb. <laughs> and by dumb, I mean so strong. There is like no... Ow. There is like no reason to not use triangle with the whip. Holy cow. Um, yeah, Freya was introduced in the first game. She was the protagonist of the first game. Oh, what? Felix, let me have it. No. No, we don't need it. I'll try to search the high floor. Yeah, I can just do a I can just do a ground slam. Let's go. May the norms protect us. I hope for the same. You can travel to an unreachable location by pressing circle when a hook indicator is shown. Oh, alright. No, we're gonna Yeah. We can we can just we can just body this thing. Look at that. We can just ground slam. It's fine. Wait. Unless this enemy is in this, is actually unkillable. I'm starting to think that enemy is unkillable. Which makes me a little sad because I wanted to kill that enemy. But apparently the game's like, nah, you can't. Um... He goes, <laughs> yeah, I'd heard about that um, in a review of this game um, when I was looking into it. Let's let's take our health potion. What is this? Oh, that gave us health. I wasted our health potion because I didn't need it. I didn't know that was happening. Oh, hello. I'm sorry. What? That was amazing. We picked up that enemy. Can I blow you up? We picked them up with our whip after... Oh, I can. Oh, cool. And I can... Ow. Please let me beat you up and destroy you. Let me just stay. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, of course. Uh, uh, <sighs> try hiring me. I mean, it would be fun. That would, that would be really cool to be in like an adventure game. Did I want to go this way? Oh, no. Oh, no. I didn't want to go this way. No. Oh, cool. We can go back. Oh, oh enemies respawn. Okay. All right. Good thing to learn. I just want to explore more. So, so far, like, I'm, I mean, like, it's very possible that I'm really just enjoying this. Ooh, we've got some aerial mobility. That I'm enjoying this game because there's, like, I'm feeling so strong right now. Oh, oh, you were going to attack, but apparently not. Okay. Hmm. Character movements are really nice. I'm, I'm very impressed watching, watching this character move. Doesn't look, it, it looks really nice. That was a... 
I'm sorry, but the whip is completely overpowered. Maybe every character is just completely overpowered. So we went from being Tracer to being a Belmont. Where are the vampires? Oh, I'm sure we're going to find some vampires. I'm sure there are some vampires in here. I'm sure we will find them. But yeah, this whip is really strong. And maybe that's why I'm having so much fun with this. It's just like, yep, we are just, we are just busted. Like, we are just so strong here. Running animation is a little, it's a little interesting. Hey, wait a minute. Can I not go in here? Can I not use this? Let me use this somehow. Like, it's strange that moving is a little, is a little, is a little interesting. Like, the, the non-weapon hand is a little weird. But in combat, the, the animations look fantastic. I'm, I'm very impressed. <laughs> Oh, and this is absolutely, this is absolutely some Ivy move sets in here, which is great. Ivy's like, oh no, what's this do? I don't know, but I want another health potion. I love Ivy. Ugh. If uh, if Namco Bandai just you know heads up, Namco Bandai wants more of my money. Whew. They just need to put a, uh, but they they really need to just put Setsuka back into Soul Calibur Six. Like at this point in 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 character in in order of my favorite characters in Soul Calibur Six, we've got you've got Two B. Then I then I mean if if Setsuka ever comes back, then it'll be Setsuka. Uh, and then Ivy, top three characters of Soul Calibur. Setsuka was in like Soul Calibur three. I think they brought her. Ow. I think they brought her back for four. You know, I'm noticing that as long as we're not getting hit too much, yeah, we can really recover and kind of stay stay on full health, um, which is nice. Like it just kind of makes the game just fun. Like this is just. Fun to play. So this is like the game to have vamps. Love the run. Also, I'm glad to see Snake Swords get some more representation. Like the only game characters I can think of that have Snake Swords are Ivy and Zero from Mega Man Zero. Yeah. Yeah, agreed. All right, data has been successfully created. Let's go. That was a cool angle. Can we have that angle back? Yeah. Look at that. Look at the size of this castle, and it's on fire. Cause yeah, Ivy's move moves are just so cool. Ah, so cool. They're 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 pretty much just pure spectacle. Uh, you can hook an indicated object to move it towards yourself by pressing ze uh, zero, by pressing circle. That crate, my sword can move it. You have a bomb. <laughs> That is why I did not do that. What is this? Obtained a power-up relic. You know what I haven't hit yet? I haven't hit the start button. Ooh, we've got maps. We've got maps. Oh, we can actually rotate the map. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Oh, L2 is zoom in. Okay. We can zoom out. Oh, check this. Oh, man, we got full rotation. That is nice. Uh, let's see. We got our status. Relic set one. No. Oh, we have things we can upgrade. Fast light diagonal slash uses our combos. Side swipe whip sword out to the front quickly. Wheel down. Swipe whip sword. Oh, look at that. Square, 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 triangle, triangle, square. Uh, wait, is this, I wonder what this is telling, how this is telling us. Okay, that's square, 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 or triangle square. Okay, so, okay, so this is, all right. Yes to more snake swords. If I've ever gotten into Smash, maybe, they need to be more in fantasy. Like, snake swords are just inherently badass and cool weapon to have. Right. Oh, agreed. Agreed. Double slap, so it's just square, 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 square,
square, square, square, square. Chakras around knocks enemies back. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. This is one, two, three, four, five. Hold triangle and then sing, swing. Hold triangle and then swing, swing. Hold square. Oh, this is what pulls them towards you. Hold R2. Uh, wow, look at the, look at all these buttons. My god, there's a ton of buttons. Oh, that's what it was. I had to hold it. I had to hold R2. Memorandum. Characters, items, relics. Power of relic. Okay, so I, this will upgrade our strength. This is a lot of relics. Wow. Wow, look at all these characters. So we've got Freya. After she succeeded in defeating the Demon of Darkness, Beladim, to save her village, she was back to, to a peaceful life as a guardian of the village. However, her story is just beginning. Then we have Zevil, quit the job as an adventurer after knowing Freya and started a shop with his sister Carol. He's willing to us. Oh, uh, started a business with his sister Carol. He's willing to assist Freya on her journey. Now we have Bernard. High-ranked knight of Cronosia, bold and straightforward, and a strong sense of duty. Traveled to the Anon Fortress to stop the co stop what will be lead the kingdom to disaster with his comrade Felix. Felix, high-ranked knight of Cronosia, personality is quite the opposite of Bernard. Went to the Anon Fortress with Bernard to save the world. Savage looter, that's an enemy. Time savage. Whoa, there's a lot of enemies. <laughs> wow. Well, I must say, I'm quite impressed. There's there's a lot of stuff here. Oh, wait. Is that what we fought? Is that the boss? This zombified plant? Yes, it is. An ancient tree that lives in the forest near the Anon forest. Fortress. Isn't that name Bern Bernard? Not Bernard? Yeah, you can say it either way. I've seen it said either way. Um, progress. Reward. Huh. You can restart a zone. You can. Man, there's. Boy, there's a lot. There is a lot. There is a lot in this game. Um. What happens if we do that? Oh, we can. We can hook onto this stuff. Even while we're in midair. Cool. Oh, oh, okay, we're gonna fight? Yeah, we're fighting. Oh, that's how we follow it up. Oh, goodbye. That's how we do this. How long we go this way? Oh, secrets. Secrets? Secrets? Okay, so if we hold R2, we will automatically follow up with that launcher. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Man, that is so good. All right, that's that's cool. Okay, I'm very glad we... Ow. Nope. No, we missed... Ah. We missed the murder. Oh. Whoops. Oh, boy. Okay. Oh, haha, <laughs> cool. Haha. <laughs> All right, we, we got this. We're okay. We're okay. These cannons won't stop us. Especially with two health potions still. Oof. Okay. Projectiles.
Oh boy. There we go. Yeah, no, you get out of here. This this little arena is gonna be the end of you. It is a whiz robe. It is, right? I'm happy that the that the flying axes are now being stopped by uh, by the cannons. Yeah, there we go. And yeah, attack boost is an item in near. <laughs> uh, but then there's also, you know, but then there's usually a number. It's like some sort of percentage. You know, it's fine. And I mean, really, there's only so many names for items. Like, according to the legend of Cronosia, this is. I don't know if you want to touch that, but okay. I mean, I'm okay with that. Again, Nier is near well, Automata anyway, because Nier was kind of fantasy as well, as far as I understand. I actually never ended up playing that one, but but I mean there's only there's only so many names you're gonna give items that do certain things. And if you wanted the the clarity of like this item does this thing, then you're just gonna I mean just call it attack boost. Feel it. Fate itself and your Whoa. has brought you to the eternal plane with all the possibilities of power. The Fram Titer. Fram Titer? And who are you? That's the first time that I enjoyed that the, the delivery. <laughs> That's pretty great. Oh, the power to right all wrongs. What do you mean by that? You don't need that power <laughs> right now. Just try and see the power of Eternal Oh, and it is Eternal Blade. Okay, not Eterno. That voice. It's Eternal. Where am I? Okay. But I also love that the game's like, hey, what? or or the story's like, hey, just take this ultimate power weapon, okay? Don't worry about the specifics just take it save the world and then we'll talk about why this was a really bad choice <laughs> press l2 and circle to record your action then press l2 to begin alternate timeline with your recorded action oh god that's bad Okay, that's really bad. <laughs> I love that my my clone is still getting hit. Okay, but that's kind of fun. I was able to essentially make my own clone. Okay. Oh boy. No, Wizro, get out. Okay, we gotta we gotta be a bit better with the uh We gotta be a little bit better with our with our timing with our dashing now. All right, all right. Not really bad in that sense, but yeah, the appearance is definitely similar. This mysterious being is literally just a D&D game master, right? <laughs> right? You walk into a room and you see a treasure chest. I opened the treasure chest. Did you check it for traps? No. Good, it wasn't trapped. Oh, thank goodness. Inside you find a weapon of Clearly, unequal power. What do you do? I wield the weapon! Do you want to? Are you sure? What? What? 
Are these visions? Is this a Tierno blade allowing me to see the future? <laughs> Maybe you don't wield it. But I want to wield it. It will help me save everything. Okay. <laughs> all right. So. I'm sure, Prem Kiter will get me through all of this. <laughs> Oh, that's what the blue is for. Okay, so the blue is this is is me doing this. Okay. Ha. Okay, that was cool. All right, that's some nifty stuff. That's some nifty stuff. I, I like that. Oh, we're in 3D space now. Oh boy. Thank goodness, this thing is so... Oh, boy. Oh, I think we have to actually hold... Ow! I think we actually have to hold this stuff down. I think we have to hold L the left stick down to uh, to properly target things. Okay. All right. All right. This is a very interesting. <laughs> Don't don't launch with when I tell you to. It's a very interesting mechanic being able to like take some time, record yourself getting butt beaten up, and then reset yourself so your health goes back, and now you've got a second version of yourself. Is this Eternal Blade allowing me to see the tutorial? Oh no. <laughs> hey spam, welcome back to the stream. How are you, noob? <laughs> Finally we're actually playing near. <laughs> We got some we got some challenges. You show yourself. When the time comes, when you have died. Matter stand in my way. All right, there is a secret passage hidden inside of Norseman world that leads to the Enigmata. <laughs> Use the time ability as displayed on a Norseman world to begin unlocking it. Well, using the time ability, wait until the passage is unlocked. Inside the Enigmata, you can earn the reward by winning the trial. Okay, just ate a bunch of sushi. Ah, sushi. Also really feels like I with a homebrew. Yeah, that's fair. I can see that. Yeah, I can see that. I'm just really I'm I'm really enjoying the fact that the controls feel good. Like for the most part, I I understand what the controls are trying to get me to do and what I can do with them. And that is very important to me. And so that's that's a really good selling point here. Oh, I don't think I want to touch those shiny spikes. Oh, I know what we got to do. Yep. Yep, got it. All right. Uh... Oh. Ah, yep, I did it too fast. Yep. Okay. Too quickly. Too quickly. I also wanted to try to get it to... I didn't realize it would do... Uh, 
All right, we need to do this nice and slow. Nice and slow. Oh yeah, I guess I don't need them to hit the... Oh, oh god, what? <laughs> that worked out funny. But now we have a better idea what we need to do. Rip, rip, rip. I think that seeing the future thing was just a story won't happen again. A little, little bit, I'm just worried that the plot with the sword that lets the protect see the future is going to end up being too similar. Ah. Uh, a little bit of the demo for the original Eternal Blade on my 3DS, and you see they were, went a bit different direction with the sequel. Oh, nice, yeah. Yeah, they, uh. Apparently. Oh, right, I forgot. It resets time. That's right. Right. I forgot that, that reset time as well. Like in Xenoblade, you get visions of a character is going to take a crap ton of damage, and you act on it to switch things around in the battle before the event happens. Here, come you can kind of do the same thing, but we're saying time to fight so you don't take damage. Yeah, yeah, kind of. Yeah, kind of. It's it's like. But the thing is, is like you reset time, but your version of yourself that you were recording is still helping you. I agree, Trophy. That is curious. We also found some curios while we were doing what was curious in that enigma-ta. So I appreciate those puns. I appreciate that. I appreciate games that have a little bit of, uh... Hey, wait! Like... Self understanding. Ooh. Vanquish them, Felix. Show the blade you are worthy to wield it. No doubt about that. And when I am through with this, you are next. <laughs> I can't wait to see what you've got. Show me what you've got. <laughs> okay, so that doesn't actually save me. Crud, I didn't have another. Okay, so the hitbox on that is fine. Oh, look at that. The boss actually gains health back, too. But I'm able to help. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> what was this? A large red potion. I'll take it. Uh oh. Yep. I was like, oh, that's that's not good. That's some lightning right there. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me. Let me. Please. Uh oh. I mean, you knew, you knew they had to have a, 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 a thing like that. Ooh. Ooh. Did we find a way to really kind of cheese this fight? Because a lot of what the uh oh, because a lot of what this enemy does. Oh, can we ride you? Can we ride you like a Linnell?
I mean, we kind of are. Oh, we cannot. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, that makes me sad. Oh, we can. Okay, we can dodge through that. Ow! <laughs> I did not do nearly enough damage to. Oh, I did not do nearly enough damage to this thing. <laughs> I love that my ghost did a better job. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, we actually got... Oh, we killed it. Ow. Oh. Goodbye. It does have a severe case of swagger walk. <laughs> that vision. That voice have to ask Bernard. Oh, okay, so it is Bernard. All right. Fine. Ooh, attacking an enemy just before it hits you. Uh we'll stun it for a short amount of time. Now we get to play as Bernard. Come on. Ooh, we are fire axe -y. got hit by that okay we still we have some interesting moves here and we're definitely like the heavy Bernard is like the heavy hitter oh god yeah we've even got a dive kick I'll take it <laughs> Okay, we can't... Oh, wow, that was awesome. Okay, I like that. Hmm. His time blink... His time blink timing is a little weird because I'm not... I'm not getting it, apparently, with this, with Bernard. I can definitely see a little bit of Thor in this character. Like, that's kind of the accent I'm kind of hearing, and uh, the feeling I'm getting from this character, and I can see it. Definitely has a bit of that gameplay. Uh, like in Xenoblade, you get visions of, uh, but they, oh, right. Everybody's names are in blue right now, so I'm losing track. <laughs> what is who? Do I? I cannot linger here. I need to find the answer. Yeah, let me blow up this door. This wall cannot stop me. Yeah, I, breakable wall, let's go. I'm in. Oh. Yeah, this guy hits hits like a truck. And I, oh, there we go. All right, good timing. And I don't mean it. it and I don't mean like 
Oh, the damage the damage that he's doing is is crazy strong. I just mean that like a lot of his hits involve like knockdowns, hit stun, all sorts of crazy stuff like that. I love that we can hit from from here. Oh, thank you, Purity. That makes that all that already makes things a whole lot easier. <laughs> thank you. Ow. I just wanted the experience. Actually, I was hoping you'd drop a health orb so I could heal just a little bit and instead bodied myself. Oh, hey. Yeah. Ooh, that's a different symbol than what the other the other Norn idol was showing. Ooh. Still a completion of 2%. Data has been successfully created. Let's go. Yep. Your walls mean nothing to me. Dim, dim, ba, dim, 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 dim. Oops. I mean, just, oh, that's so good. It's just, you just mash the square button and you're just going to do great stuff like that. I don't quite know. Yeah, what the heck is going on here? Somehow you're avoiding all of my hits. I'm not sure what the yellow does. I don't know if the yellow is like an XP meter. Ow. Oh, okay. I mean, it's still hurt. Yeah, no, we're just gonna deal with that. Had to deal with that cannon first, though. Definitely didn't want to... Starting to think that the reason why the, uh, the, the whip sword is so overpowered is the hitbox is incredible. <laughs> like, there's a lot of... What? There's a lot with this with this weapon that doesn't make sense. Ow. Especially with these aerial enemies. Ow. Oof. We could be in trouble here. Oh, oh boy, we could be in big trouble. I'm hoping it's just an XP meter. But like a hidden one or something? We are in a lot of trouble. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, the hitbox, I think, on the, the sword whip is way better than on this great axe. Which is a little unfortunate. Because I want to be... I want to be the very best. Like no one ever was. Um, I could use some health. Por favor. Alright, so I cannot actually use... I can't use those little, those little hooking points. That's sad. Can't do anything with those.
Oh, it's a it's a it's a potion. Ring of health increases small amount of health. Yeah, I wish I could have an extra bit of health right now because I'm in a really bad spot. I don't need I don't need a large blue potion. I need a large red potion, please. I don't need this boss fight right now. Oh. You got to be kidding me. This is the Eternal Blade all this time. And I thought it was destroyed since the Half-Blood War. Huh. So Bernard sounds like he actually knows what this all Your is. Name is Uvaran. And knows like really well apparently. Whereas Felix is all like, what's going on? What is all the things? I have no idea. Oh god, please. Uh, L2 and triangle to use the time stop ability. Oh, this is beautiful. Yeah. Oh no. Get out of here, whiz robe. Dang it, I did not time it just wrong. Oh. Kind of has a PlayStation 1 JRPG FMV type of face. Yeah, that's kind of true. Oof. Oh, good. We got a little bit of health back for that. <laughs> Yay. You gotta be kidding me. This is the eternal blade. All right. Well, now that we see that this arena is going to get really crazy. It looks like there must be, there must be just different uh, aspects to the eternal blade. You know? Nope, we're just gonna mash these whiz robes to pieces. Oh boy. Nope. Here, you just you just get excited about your bomb. And blow up, please? There we go. Whee! So we're probably we're probably waiting on a third aspect of the Eternal Blade. Um, it's probably what we're gonna get here. Like Freya probably is the third one. Cause remember in the opening cutscene we had those three objects, and it looks like that's what we're dealing with here. And uh, what the? Thanks, thanks, phone. Oh, please, yes. Give me that health. Give me that. Give me that, like, time stuff. All right, so that's where, um, th that, that obnoxious sound is the sound of the timer. Um, so that's going to actually be it for our first episode. We will be continuing this uh, very shortly from here, especially if you are on my Twitch live stream, we're going to be restarting uh, in just a few moments. But if you are watching this on YouTube, we're going to be seeing you tomorrow. So we will uh, we will have some more Eternal Blade 2 for y'all coming up very shortly. Bye.